Well, it's official. Cody Bellinger is the comeback player of the year in the National League. What a great season for the Cubs. We're going to talk about Belly, what he brought to the table, why he won this award, and what might be next for him in the future. Before we get there, though, I want to tell you that if this is your first time, or maybe you've come back, either way, you're welcome here on the Cubs Baseball Channel. Like and subscribe. If you like Cubs content, give us a thumbs up. Appreciate you guys a lot. Let's talk some Cubs baseball. What do you say, everybody? I'm Mick Gillespie. Thanks for hanging out with us here on the Cubs Baseball Channel. And let's talk about one of our favorite Cubs, and that is Cody Bellinger. Spent most of his career, and really until last year, as a Dodger. And then he came back to the Cubs. He signed a one-year contract, and boy, did he live up to that one-year deal. And what a season he had. Bellinger, who was the National League MVP in 2019 with the Dodgers, that year, he hit 37 home runs, and he was, um, you know, he averaged 37 home runs through his first three seasons, helped the Dodgers win the World Series in 2020, but he was just one of baseball's best player, left-handed batter, and then the next two seasons, the guy just couldn't hit, and, and it, what, what happened? He batted under 200 uh, combined for those next two seasons. Um, he only had... 29 home runs, so he had under 30 home runs and 800 at-bats, struck out a lot, and then he was non-tendered by the L.A. Dodgers. That made him a free agent, and the Cubs signed him to a one-year deal, and then all of a sudden he came all the way back. And you guys had – and I'm in the group with you. We love the way that he plays the game of baseball. You know, it's it's the 307 batting average. It's the 26 home runs. You know, it's the fact that he made contact – uh, 15.6% strikeout rate, which was his best. Um, you know, it was the runs batted in. It was all of the clutch stuff, right? He was the NL player of the month in July. And you remember that was the month where the Cubs surged um, and, you know, came out of nowhere and were a contender to make the postseason. And a lot of us felt like he fell short by not making the postseason, or at least the team did. And so, Without him, I don't think they would have been in that spot. So he's the first ever Cub to win the award, which started back in 2005. So this isn't an award that's been around forever, but it's been around for a long time. Uh, you know, 2005. I mean, and baseball, a long times like Babe Ruth. You know, well, that's <laughs> 2005. No, but 2005. You know, it's been a- around long enough for you know someone to actually win the award. But it's uh, actually Cody Bellinger, the first guy to win it. Uh, Chicago got a sweep, though. The uh, the the Southsiders, they got the American League version of baseball's comeback player. And, and what a cool story for Liam Hendricks. Um, comeback player of the year in the AL. This is a three-time All-Star closer who was diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in December and then he had to have you know obviously all the treatments that go with that and uh you know had to fight against being sick chemotherapy treatments and all of that stuff and then eventually you know he came back and that was uh really a cool thing to see I mean we you know you the, it sometimes life gets in the way of us enjoying our game of baseball and you, you realize that there's a lot more to life than baseball, even though we love the game so much. And, and stories like Liam Hendricks are great. So congratulations to him as well. Um, you know, it took him five months to go through everything and then finally get back. And I think all of us have experienced someone that we love, uh, you know, having the battle cancer, and a lot of times it doesn't turn out the way that Liam Hendricks did. So congratulations to him, and congratulations to Cody Bellinger, who wins the NL Comeback Player of the Year. Now, the the final thought is it, it, during free agency is what is going to happen with Bellinger. 
And, you know, you've, I've seen him talk about it. You know, he, he doesn't give you any kind of hint on what exactly he's going to do. I think a, a majority of Cubs fans would love to see him back in a Cubs uniform, get to see him at Wrigley Field. And, uh, you know, and we, so we're kind of in that waiting that waiting game right now. And I think once Shohei Otani decides where he's going to go, a lot of things are going to start to ramp up for the Cubs and exactly what their next move is going to be. But I don't think anyone would be upset to see Cody Bellinger return to the Cubs after the type of season that he had. And also a, a lot of other things. I mean, how many times on this channel have we talked about it? It's not just the home runs and the runs batted in and the batting average and the slugging and all that. It's the way that he plays the game every day. You can tell that he enjoys it. Uh, he plays the game the right way. When he was in center field, you know, he would give his body up to try to make a play. When he was at first base, he was a noble fill-in and did whatever role the team asked him to do and did it with a smile on his face. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens with him in the offseason. But a uh, fantastic guy. Fantastic player and the comeback player of the year. And he's going to get a little extra in the old uh, paycheck for that. And he deserves it. Hey, guys, I want to remind you that as the holiday season approaches, and I guess we're kind of in that now, right? Thanksgiving is here, that the Cubs baseball channel is presented by the AA affiliate of your Chicago Cubs, the Tennessee Smokies. And right now, smokiesbaseball.com backslash store for some really cool gear. Uh, Cubs gear available there, but also Smokies gear. They won their first championship in 45 years. Check it out for yourself. They've got some Black Friday deals going right now, Cyber Monday, holiday specials, and some really cool stuff. Again, that is SmokiesBaseball.com backslash store. We'll talk to you real soon. Thanks for hanging out with us.